Hello everyone, in the third video of the final exam or our final rivet exam, I will uh, continue from wherever we stopped last lecture after we finalized in the first video the conceptual mass tower and in the second video uh, managed to finish the adaptive component and apply it uh, for the subdivision. Uh, I just changed uh, a bit guys uh, instead of you know here I think in this face in this division I have uh, 50 I think I just reduced that to 35 because it's gonna take seriously seriously longer time uh, longer amount of time when you send that to uh, rivet so I just reduced that trying to reduce the time out of uh, five minutes of uh, exporting to anything less than that so I'll, I'll show you it's a little bit of a painful process and you have to deal with it a little bit uh, you know delicately uh, just create a new project and go to browse and uh, <clears throat> you know the procedure as metric default probably a good idea to check the unit it should be you know the same units that you use in there anyway in 3d I'm gonna hit uh, load into the project and that might send your machine into a coma like what you can you know obviously not seeing here uh, it's just 205 a.m. here guys so uh, I'm waiting uh, I'll wait too long I think I'm estimating it I don't know maybe two minutes uh, one minute I don't know I, I just reduced I tried the the division to be 50 uh, by 10 as I finished that in the previous video and it took like five minutes of uh, you know uh, a delay showing not respond again don't freak out it is trying to respond so just don't don't click anything just try to be patient and Revit will send the conceptual mass file into a uh, Revit uh, project environment and again uh, if you have a better machine not like the old uh, laptop that I'm using now you will probably get uh, you know less time and uh, and anyhow don't give up on that just just wait for it now we lost the first minute as you can see and it's, it's still not responding it should change the uh, concept of to the project environment anywho so we're just uh, waiting for it I did not prefer to pause that because I really want to show you the seconds when you placed the tower as uh, as, a, as a component there in the product environment and you have to be very careful when you do that and not to move the mouse much because each time you push the mouse rivet will go and you know try to regenerate uh, like a snapshot or like uh, you know a temporally 3D a copy of the tower with each move of your mouse which actually causing more delay here we go so two minutes lovely so I close instead of five that's great so now you see everything that's why I didn't pose every click every move in the mouse is actually gonna cause more delay so I highly highly advise you not to move the mouse leave rivet do the whatever you know the black magic it's doing right now and it's uh, just wait don't move anything leave the mouse alone now when you get this click in blah 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 so just click the mouse without moving it and that's it again it's gonna get back to the coma for a couple of seconds telling you I'm processing just be patient make sure your hands away of the mouse and at the top as you see it's saying it's not responding again just ignore that keep yourself away from the computer and wait to regenerate now it's a placing now what's happening now it's a placing an entire copy of the conceptual mass into the Revit project environment and which is you know a, a boring long process and at the same time it's generate a review or a shortcut of that tower to be attached to your mouse wherever you move it that's why I'm saying don't move the mouse it is boring I know 
so the overall process now getting into four minutes good that's not bad actually guys it might take you sometimes in a, in, in a full detailed tower conceptual master it might take up to 30 minutes to do this thing so be careful when you design and be aware uh, of the size and the complexity of your model so just don't give up and close and say it's not working just rather than just be patient and wait for it yep great warning message lovely now I believe it's actually finalized the stage of placing the object and start to giving you some warning messages of some missing or unable to create some of the elements or not being able to visit visible or view them within the view and now it's trying to create another shot now that's the key you see again I'm not touching the mouse uh, the shape that you create that you clicked on now it's blue thing that means it's a place now and if I push the mouse it will actually you know try to show me another copy of that so I'm gonna hit escape like two or three times beautiful now ignore that now we can get back to our normal you know normal mode that's the project you know that we were working on it's looked like a ghost and I highly advise you to go and change into a shaded mode you know the shaded mode will identify for you that there is a conceptual mass you know as you can see but the division is now actually the adaptive component is actual and a current panel or uh, you know an individual panels here you can see uh, with the frame with Molly and that's ready to be you know used as an architectural element or rivet architectural elements and on the other hand those conceptual mass are not ready yet so you have to go to walls whatever type of walls you want you have to apply them here and the easiest way to do that is to go to massing and of course go uh, ma uh, wall by face and then just you know click this and click that and so on and rivet will start adding those walls for you so you can see uh, what I'm doing uh, just cancel. you can see what I am actually doing I'm just placing uh, the walls trying to actually and you can see how heavy the process is uh, again all my face now we get ourselves nice tower as you can see for some reason I cannot add that in here I don't know why let me try again now it's working yeah for some reason it's asking to, to unjoin the elements so what if I delete that and go all by face and then would it do it once no no okay so unjoined no worries I'll rejoin them later so wall by face here again and you know you can actually uh, create the required uh, external parts or uh, actually walls sorry As if there is no wall in here, no conceptual mass in here, which is, I don't know, I'm not really that patient to do it anymore. Okay, I lost the command. All right, makes sense. So, good. That's what we want. Technically, all the vertical element now is correct and placed. And you see, you still see the conceptual mass like a ghost in here. If you want to turn it off, so you see what the actual architectural element that's what we want I know there is some gaps you can come back later and apply them individually for the places that you are actually missed or actually been missed by a rivet itself 
and you can see it's crazily beautiful and it's already been finished with all the vertical elements. Now we need to get back to the horizontal division and that's what we want to finalize the tower. So I'm gonna go to East Elevation, just fix the mess you get, you know, like those levels, get them back. It's really nice to, you know, take care of the presentation part of your work. And we already get that's a zero and one. And I'm not really quite sure how high is this. You can go back and, you know, uh, let's go back and see what is actually required in the questions. If you remember, we still have a copy of that. And the steps were saying that we need to create the conceptual mass, add adaptive component, uh, division, design the adaptive component, sorry, they're dividing it and then the adaptive component loaded. Yep, that's what we want. It's each uh, 4.5 meter for 1, 2, 3, and then 18.5. That's just crazy, but I'll just follow whatever the exam want. Okay, that's why. And then I'm just going to copy that another 4,500. And be aware when you copy, you won't be able to create a level. It's okay for me. Or just create a new level if you want. Uh, I'm just going to ground that. Uh, another 4.5. You can go ahead and create new levels again if you want them. Hands, actually. So that's that's what I've done so far. And then I believe it was a two meter thing. Don't tell me how architecturally that worked. I have no idea. It's just uh, doesn't make any sense anyway. So following again that that's it. Now you know you're gonna jump the project type each five meters of course. And don't forget that I designed this whole thing based on the division of fifty. So whatever we've done, it might not work because I changed the pattern because it's really heavy. So let's say 4.1 meter. Can I make it 4.2 meters almost? Okay, so how about one and a half? It's, uh, I think, exactly. 4,150 and again that's get what I gain from the division so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that guy go to array push that up second of course and write 4,150 and hit enter and it's the second it's moving to the second and in the numerical value I have absolutely no idea and I don't want to do the math so I'm gonna go for a quick guess and say 30 level and see how thing goes if it's less like now beautiful look it's it's almost perfect no not really anyway I was trying to get the the, the division with the levels anyway failed miserably I don't care uh, I'm gonna get back to this guy 40 and probably make it uh, I don't know 30 sorry I'm making it 40 so that's what we have Beautiful. I have to remove one, two, three, four, and five, maybe. So I'm gonna make it 35. Again, guys, it's really a good idea to stick with the exam requirement. I'm skipping it because I already changed the division here. You should have the level of a 36. I have a level of 41 because my levels high distances is actually less. So back to this step now you have you know to create an actual physical slabs as you can see so first before before you do that you have the division you have the levels now not the floors but the levels you see those are levels black headed and you see uh, there is floor plan just for the first and second we're gonna get back to this so go to 3d much better and now you need to create a conceptual mass so you have to show up the mass of course and uh, select that guy, select the mass, probably a couple of, you know, 
tab, 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 tab. Ah, oh, it's boring. Click. And when you select the mass, you will find this guy, mass floor, which is, it's really suffering if you try to find it without selecting the mass because it don't exist. So, mass floors, and it's going to tell you where you want a massing floor. So hit shift, shift, and then scroll down and hit the last one and then tick. So it's going to create mass floors again. They are not real floor, not a physical if floors rather than you know just uh, you know just an imaginary plane as you can see now again you can you go create a floor here a floor by face and again uh, you need guys to zoom out select the whole universe like here and then go create floors of course it's going to apply whatever active property physical floor I'm gonna keep it just uh, generic if you want anything specific you can go ahead and find it and two things there's an ugly thing happening here because you have a conceptual wall a physical architectural wall with the conceptual mass showing this ugliness and the distortion here again because you have a conceptual mass with the real floor mass so the idea is to fix this thing is just you need to go to massing and turn off the show mass or turn off the mass itself Technically, you don't need it anymore. So that's it, guys. Probably showing the shadow will help you to imagine how complex the geometry is. The ability to have an actual floors highly detailed, as you can see, uh, automatically generated. If, if you master this technique, you you will be making, you know, lots of saving, lots of hell of efforts. You know, like. The efforts you spend to create a huge tower like this one uh, and instead of you spending month designing that in, in AutoCAD or 3D Studio Max and slicing that manually we did this in let's say like two hours maximum and I know it's need a little bit bits and pieces of enhancement but uh, I think it's uh, it's fair enough for you uh, that's it in the next video I'm gonna show you how to make uh, you know floors uh, actually we can do it now I don't know if we have enough time it's just a go view plan and floor plan and I'm gonna make third and with control 10 20 I'm just gonna select out of the levels that I have and rivet by that will do a floor plans for me and as you can see now we have floor plans generated here for us and you can select the last one for example and simply goes and you know in the edit range go and change that make it you know unlimited and hit OK and uh, technically you're gonna see the whole you know the whole level and whatever beneath it anyway guys thank you very much for watching I wish that you, you find that useful and I'm gonna continue next video to show you the continue the, the rest of the final exam Thank you very much and see you soon in the fourth video. Bye bye.